Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna set up the motion cameras in a farm truck to test out the Fresh Cab Botanical Rodent Repellent. One of the most common questions I receive on my channel is from viewers who have had damage, sometimes thousands of dollars in damage, in their car, truck, RV, from rodents. And they wanna know if there's something they can place inside to keep the mice and rats out. I've heard good things about this product and I wanted to see if it actually works. What we have is an all natural pesticide. The active ingredients are balsam fir oil at 2% and 98% inert ingredients, fragrance oil and plant fiber. If you turn it this way, it says it's great for basements and attics, pantries, cabins, under a hot tub, a garage or shed, storage unit, and autos, trucks, tractors, farm equipment, sheds and barns, also RVs, boats, and even airplanes. They say for a vehicle, you place four pouches inside and that will keep the mice or rats away. And it may last for up to 30 days based on how tight the space is and airflow. I'm curious what they look like and what they smell like. So let's open it up and see what's inside. It has tips for using fresh cab. Remove the outer plastic wrap before use. For preventative use in non-infested areas, use one pouch for every 125 square feet. For currently infested areas, use one pouch per eight square feet. And replace the pouch when the scent is no longer strong to the nose, typically 30 to 90 days. And do not use next to bait, traps, or poison. They will actually attract the rodents you are trying to repel. Those are some good tips. Inside each box, there's eight packs, four two packs. I'm gonna open up the plastic and see what it smells like. It already has a fragrance. It kind of reminds me of the smell of turpentine, very fresh and clean. We'll see if it actually keeps out mice. Now to test out the fresh cab, I'm gonna place it in an old farm truck that isn't driving right now, it's sitting in the barn. And that's a huge problem because if you leave a vehicle in the barn, even for a week, the mice move in. I have no idea how many mice are in there, but after a while, it smells like mouse pee. So for the first night before I set up the rodent repellent, I'm gonna see how many mice are in this truck with the trail cameras. Now the trail camera has a motion sensor and every time a mouse walks in front of it, it records for one and a half minutes. And after just one night, it recorded over 200 clips. So clearly we have a major mouse problem. After the first night, I placed four packets of the fresh cab and I decided to leave it for over two weeks. Now it didn't take long for the mice to discover the packets. They go up and smell them and then run away. And after the first few nights, there was still mouse activity, but day after day, the occurrence dropped down. Occasionally, the mice would still come and go, but it wasn't as common, and they didn't stay as long. So if you remember on the first night, the camera turned on over 200 times, but over the course of the next few weeks, it only turned on 40 times. That sounds like a lot of mouse activity, but most of those were in the first few days. It took over a week for it to really kick in. So what are my final thoughts on the Fresh Cab Botanical Rodent Repellent? The question is, does it actually work? Well, from what I saw in the trail camera footage, I do believe that mice are deterred by the smell, and in certain circumstances, it can be a very useful tool for reducing rodent damage, but you do need to have realistic expectations. It is also clear that in areas that are already infested with rodents, it takes time to work, and you may also want to trap heavily to remove the mice, and then use fresh cab to keep new ones from colonizing the area. Now, my biggest complaint about this product is the smell. It's not an unpleasant aroma, but it could be very strong. And I would not place it in a vehicle that I drive often because it reminds me of being stuck in an elevator with a dude who applies way too much cologne. But if you're dealing with a rodent problem, it's a useful tool. Thank you so much for watching my videos and thanks to all the viewers who have sent me art. I love seeing the pictures. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch or deter mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.